Hi, Chris Ferdinandi, the Vanilla JS guy here with one last speedy dev insight. Here are my 13 favorite web developer tricks. Tip number one, event delegation. If you need to listen for the same event on lots of elements, you can attach your listener to a parent element to catch all of them and then filter out events that aren't on the element that you care about. Not only is this easier to manage as a developer, but it's actually better for performance. Tip number two, the early return pattern. Lots of nested if statements can quickly become unruly and hard to read. As an alternative, you can check for the opposite of the desired state by prefacing your test with the bang or exclamation point operator. Then you run the return operator when that check returns true. For bigger functions, this results in code with far fewer indents and an easier to read structure. Tip number three, multiple selectors. For methods that accept CSS selectors, you can pass in multiple selectors as a comma-separated string, just like you'd write them in CSS. Tip number four, data attribute selectors. Data attributes make fantastic selectors for your custom JavaScript and help prevent collisions with CSS classes. You can use these attributes as standalone selectors. You can also use this to make event delegation easier in bigger apps where you have different functions that run for the same event. With this approach, you would store all of your event handlers in an object, and then you can use the handler name as the value of the data attribute. In my event listener, I can get the value of that attribute, and then I can pass that value in to run the matching function. Tip number five, converting an object into a query string. To convert an object into a query string, you can pass it into the new URL search params constructor and then run the two string method on it. Tip number six, removing duplicates from an array. The set object is a lot like an array, but each item in it must be unique. If you pass an array of duplicate values into the new set constructor and then convert the returned set object back into an array, you get a new array with all of the duplicates removed. Tip number seven, generating random IDs. The crypto random UUID method generates a random cryptographically secure unique ID. Tip number eight, true type checking. Because so many JavaScript things are actually objects, the type of operator is unreliable for accurate type checking. For example, plain objects, arrays, dates, regex patterns, and null all return object with the type of operator. For more accurate type checking, call the object prototype to string method on the item you want to check. The returned value will start with square bracket object followed by the actual object type. Tip number nine, numeric separators. Big numbers can be difficult to read and work with in JavaScript. And numbers cannot include thousand separators like commas. But in modern JavaScript, you can use underscores to break big numbers into smaller parts. Tip number 10, looping over objects. A for in loop is often used to loop over objects. To get the value of a particular key, you need to use bracket notation to get that key value on the object you're looping over. A cleaner way to loop over objects is by pairing the object entries method, which converts an object into an array of key value pairs with a for of loop and array destructuring. Tip 11, object property shorthands. In modern JavaScript, if there's an existing variable with the same name as the property that you're defining in the object, you can just use the variable name for the property and its value will be automatically assigned. Tip 12, simpler Boolean returns. A lot of my students will write code that explicitly returns true or false based on some condition. And there's nothing wrong with that. It totally works. But if the conditional check that you're running returns a Boolean itself, you can return the check itself rather than an explicit true false value because the check you're running is doing that already. And finally, tip number 13, the correct way to pronounce this word is GIF. You can access the source code from this talk and dig deeper into vanilla JavaScript over at gomakethings.com slash SO TB.